boys final that should be another exciting one that much i can tell you of course uh, we've got um in here one coaching chairmaker from st gregory's college Mohamed Kapoor from State Senior High School. Uh, you've got Alalu Ola today from Temple College. We have uh, John Tyrofi from, from King's College, Lagos. Adebe Kumba from King's Phoenix School in Lagos. And that's Adebe Kumba on your screen. Heading to lane seven, there's Adebe Kumba de Milade, Myasel Lakoka. Uh, that's Adebe Kumba de Milade on your screens. And in lane eight, that um, boy, Azuka boy, Wesley, uh, he's got a foreign name, hopefully he can do some foreign schools in it, he's probably going to be calling it. We've got uh, two schools, uh, two students rather, from the same school in this Redditors boys final of the tournament, on the 17 Athletics Championship. Right here in the city of Lagos, we still have time to have the girls final, 26 points to Rizzo, so we can get a lower time in the boys' final and definitely so we're looking forward to an exciting uh, finale of this um, 200 meters. All right, the officials trying to ensure everything is in place. The athletes also trying to get set. And uh, just a quick mention, uh, what you saw on your screens, um, a lost shell green pitch right there inside the main goal. But we're not talking football yet. Back to athletics. Because uh, the athletes are set. St. Gregory's College will be cheering for their man, Ogbo Duchemeka. Igobi has got two players, uh, two athletes rather, uh, Igobi from Igobi College, Oloko and Wesley. King's College as well has got a man on the field, uh, on the tracks of Beggar Party, John Tyro. We've got um, Adedo from Kingsfield as well. ISL Makoka has got one man, Jai Ruade Mladi. Another man who should be coming for his mom and from State Senior High School. All right, so we get to set for this one. It's the Hunter Final. 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 It's been a long day. And let's wrap it up with uh, some exciting races. Right here in the city of Lagos. Officials trying to ensure everything is intact just before. Yes, and off we go. Good start by all of the athletes, and of course you can see that man in the and the four rather to keep trying to negotiate the pen. And whoever gets that first will go on and now do has done successfully well. Now the couple of well is giving it a chase. And it's um a lot of a lot to from Central College. He's doing a good job. Okay, and it's good, and it's gone on to win the 200 meters boys final. He was favorite. I did say that we're going to time to be 22 points. Hello and welcome to Channel Sports on Sunday. I am Ken Ochunogo. And I tell you, that is what we have been watching last week. But then uh, they went to they went to Bayelsa, they went to Kogi, and then you just have to get the you know those results as they are hot. So when things are hot, you take them. And definitely that was why, you know, we Push this and said yes. That which is good never ever expire. I didn't. I don't talk about eat edible, so you know I don't want to expire. There's a kind of thing that said anything that you do, that is good doesn't expire. When you start seeing book, you know, don't don't call me. But I'm talking about performances. I'm talking about achievements. And those things don't. You know, once you are uh, uh, that's your food. Once you put it there, bam, in the match of food in the sands of time, it remains there forever. And that is what we saw. Uh, it, was, it was the second, the single edition of our, our channels on the 17 track and field classics for secondary schools in Lagos. And I tell you, uh, uh, over a thousand at least showed up. 59 schools, you know, registered out of the 65 expected. And it was a two-day jam. And the highlight of it all, you, you see, you will come to that because you are going to see it. Uh, uh, but earlier this morning, the bronze bomber, 43, 43 fights on beating, uh, uh, just one draw, 41 knockouts. And he told, uh, you know, uh, Luis Ortiz in the second meeting that the first one they said that you didn't prepare, this time you prepared. But at any this, it was like a game of two halves, 12 rounds. 
Six rounds went, you know, uh, uh, to Ortiz, and then just one round. The round that mattered, bam, then the seventh round, and it got clipped in the jaw. When you have a glass jaw, you don't just go there and start pushing. You must defend that. Uh, uh, he would have known that at that point in time that this guy was, uh, the bronze bomber was coming for a knockout. So all you would have done is, let me clinch. Ali clinches. Push him away. Of course, you're not as tall. But who we'll took that? Uh, we move on and ask ourselves what happens when the Olympics start. Because, yes, your Nigeria, my Nigeria, uh, 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 we, we won gold, silver, and bronze. Remember at the, the, last, the last Olympics, yes, we came home with a solitary bronze, but it came from, it came from football. Uh, we also won uh, a, a, a silver medal. You remember when Lionel Messi and Co. You know, did the Siasia team in. But then we also won the gold that was in Atlanta in 1996. So we won gold, silver, and bronze. But yes, when we go to Tokyo, there will, be no, there will be no Nigeria <laughs> when it comes to the male and female football events. But then in other events, we will be there. Uh, last week also, host Brazil. Host Brazil won on, uh, on home turf, you know, uh, when, when they divided Mexico to leave the under-17 uh, 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 World Cup. So they are pursuing us. They want to be like us. We won it five times. It will be a long time before they do that. Uh, the MPFL matches are back. You know, you can't take anything away from that. Uh, we are seeing a semblance of, uh, of impartiality. Yes, I, I think I, I can say that. The coaches have not started crying that you know, we were robbed. We've seen uh, about two or three away matches in some, of those, in some of those weeks. So I think we are moving on there. We shall look at where the actions are in today and ask you, you know, to go to the nearest, uh, 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 nearest football event center where, uh, uh, where they are playing so that you go and watch and support your team. Uh, I don't want to say this, but then uh, uh, he is back. You know, who I, you know who I mean? He is back. And when he is back, you know he is back. Uh, he started with a win. And I did that, and then also the ego trip. Of course, I have been. The, we're lucky that I have uh, uh, many years experience as a coach in the EPL because I know when you are three goals up, you can still happen. So I use my experience. So he uses experience, and his experience has started working. You can't take it away from him. He's the one and only. Uh, they sat one move and got another move. Mauricio left, and then Mauricio came in. That is sports for you. But then also tennis, 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 tennis. Davis Cup, that is the Tennis World Cup. You have the FIFA World Cup for football. You have the FIBA World Cup for basketball. You have the World Athletics Championship for athletics. You have a lot of world. And then they say, look, why do we have to now go and play their uh, Davis Cup home and away. I mean, it doesn't, it's, it doesn't happen that way now. Let's try with the World Cup, and today it will be final because it will, it will be Spain uh, uh, with the world number one, Rafa Nadal, taking on a young Canadian side, you know, uh, 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 being led by young uh, Dennis in the of Vola. So we, that is what we are saying here. But then, like we say, we always say it as it is. We start where we need to start. And let me start with my guest. They will turn the same one over. Okay, let me come from the other side. Uh, I have uh, Otun Lalapo in the house. Otun, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. My accidental guest. <laughs> <laughs> I think, I think uh, 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 you are the... Yeah, I'm the uh, sport director at Temple School. Sport uh, director at yeah. Temple School. Yes. Okay. Okay. Next to him is Tunde Suleiman. How are you today? Thank you very much for having me. Yeah. Tunde is a coach uh, uh, with the Lagos, uh, Lagos State uh, uh, Sports uh, Commission. Sport Commission. Yeah. So he is here. Yeah, uh, uh, they were the people that not just, you know, uh, directed affairs of all you know, there, but then they know these kids and moving them. And then sitting next to me, uh, uh, you, you go back, you go back so many years, you go back, you go back to 1936. Yes, there was one Jesse Owens. You go back to 1984. There was one Carl and this guy did something. And somebody said, I can also do it for Nigeria. Hello. <laughs> can I introduce yourself? Good afternoon, sir. My <laughs> name is Ola Olu Jason Ola Tunde. I'm a 17 year old student from Temple College. He's a 17 year old student from Temple College. Okay. But I talked about Jesse Owens and I talked about Carl Lewis uh, 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 in this second edition of uh, uh, the channel's track and field. A star is born. And because, uh, uh, like he told you, he's 17. He's in Temple, uh, uh, Temple College, that is where he, he attends uh, his studies. He's in GSS, uh, he's in SS2. But then you did something. What, what are the things you won at the Classic? Um, 
I won the 100 meters long jump, the 100 meters, the long jump, and the 200 meters. And the 200 meters. Mm -hmm. And I also came third with my, with my team school, with my school team, sorry, yeah, yeah. at the um, relay. The relay. relay. Yes. There we came third. We won a bronze medal. And also set new personal best in the 100, 200 meters, and 200 meters. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. Shabi, we said that those talents are not there. We are catching them. But let's start, let's start with it, uh, uh, Tunde. Uh, Tunde, Tunde uh, uh, take us through uh, uh, what you saw, you know, what you saw there, uh, you and your colleagues as this uh, uh, over 1,000 at least, you know, participated in those two days. Yeah, thank you very much for having me. Uh, as you said earlier, my name is Coach Tunde Suleiman, an athletics coach with Lagos State Sports Commission. Yeah. Uh, at the, uh, first of all, I will give thanks to Chinese organization for having us, for, I mean, for having a secondary school meet in Lagos, in order for Lagos State and other countries, I mean, Nigeria as a whole, to bring up a talent that, that have been hiding. Because uh, in Nigeria presently, uh, we are lacking a lot of uh, athletes in order to represent the country. Presently, like the like of Olaolu Olatunde, Olaolu Olatunde is, uh, was formerly a national youth champion in uh, under 17, held in Elone last year. Okay. He won the competition with the time of 11 1 3. But uh, this year, he has improved his time to 10.93. 10.93. That is a very improved uh, performance. But uh, we have a lot of talent, most especially, apart from Laulu, there is a guy from Igbobi, Francis. Okay. The guy has a talent, but the guy needs. Uh, a coach to handle him. So thank God that China's brought up this competition that we're going to work on the athletes. And the like of uh, Demeladi Ajayi of ISL, though the guy is not tall, but he has a lot of talent. That is for the male, for the boys. Okay. And we have a girl, Alimati Alowonle. Okay, she won, she won last year. She won last year. And won this, and won year. this year. Okay, and, and that's very, very interesting for having such an athlete in Lagos. Uh, she was at the National Youth last year. She was sixth position. This year, the same thing. She placed sixth at the National Youth. But uh, I can only see that uh, Alimat Alowonle uh, being coached by Olapade, Ade, uh, Olapade Lawa. Okay. She is also a Lagos State coach. Uh, Ola, uh, Alima needs to be handled very well. She needs to lift weight. Because if you can see her running, you will see that... Uh, She's very thin, no muzzle. Okay. She can't power like a other state. I think that was what really affected her in the last national youth. And uh, there is another girl coming up from uh, Federal Government College, Ijaniki. The girl's name is Victoria Ejimbe. Okay. Ejimbe, <laughs> that is another talent that I just spotted. The very first very day I met her, I told the coach that brought her, I said, this girl is going to be a national champion in long jump. Fortunately, the girl, first time in jumping ever, she jumped five zero zero meters. Yes. From unknown girl that have never done it before. Sir, we have a long way to go, and we need to work hard on the talented we spotted. On the talented, Freddie. Okay, but, 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 but let's, let's, let's go back to the beginning. Uh, uh, you were also part of school's team. Yeah. Uh, uh, you, 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 you participated in Nipoga and other, you know. The, can you take us back to your, you know, why you were in school uh, and what, what you did? Well, during my time, hmm, that is a long time, uh, I will say we are very fortunate to be dedicated to what we are doing. Okay. And our coaches then, they will let us know that before you can have a spikes, nobody will dash you a spikes. You have to work for it. Unlike now, there is parental support. Then, when we are doing sports, it's very hard to see a parent encouraging their children to go and do sports. Because they all believe that uh, during that time, if you are doing sports, uh, you cannot concentrate on your education. But because we are dedicated, we are hardworking, and the coaches are really working on us, the, the dedication was, I mean, was there then. But presently, computer age, most of the athletes we have nowadays, they will hold on with their phone, say, telling you coaches that, ah, I have a program that Carlos was doing then. Okay. Though truly, Carlos was doing it then. But the condition Carlos was doing it, can you, do, can you have such a condition here in Nigeria? And no. Because presently, most of our feed have been used 
to build school or to build recreation center. You want, you want, when you were competing, you want some events. Which were, which, 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 which were those events and, and at which level? Well, uh, like you said earlier, Nipoga Games, I won 1992, 100 meter and 200. Okay, you were the 100 meter and 200 meter champion. Yeah, in, in Nipoga 19, in 1992. 1992. Okay, what of your, but you also did some jumps. Eh, I did jump jumps when I don't even have the knowledge of. But I will give thanks to Coach Mama Harrison. That's the head coach in Kwara State then. Okay. I was in Kwara Polytechnic, Kwara State Polytechnic. I don't usually come to stadium to train. Okay. So thinking that uh, if, I, if I want to be serious, he pushed me to 400. After doing one, one or two 400, when I ran 43, I mean 48.3, 48.1. In the next competition in Portaco, that was 1995. There was a guy, innocent in Yemen, that we are hugging. He said, he's going to beat me in 100. I said, I'm going to beat you in long jump, too. That was how I started long jumping. My first long jump ever in the national competition was 7.37. That was when Yusuf Ali spotted me and said, you are a talent. Ever since, that very year, 95, I was fought at the National Trials Mobile. For 96, I won the National Sports Festival, 764. Then, that very year, I won the National Trials, all Nigeria. That was how I became a long jumper. At the end of the day, before I throw in to well, I give glory to God. My best jump is, uh, was 8.02 meters. So that you jumped over, you jumped over eight meters. I thank God for that. I wish I challenged you because in my prime, I know I, I don't want to <laughs> tell you what I jump. You understand? <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to tell what I jump. And uh, at, the same, at the same time, I yeah. will give credit to uh, Chief Anthony Osheku. Okay. He really encouraged me. There was a time I want to quit because everything was so, I'm so tired of the whole thing. He now called me, he said, Tunde, I gave you last chance. If you don't do it, I will take you back to the US. Then you will not do anything that I will establish for you in the US. But fortunately, that very year, the following year, that was 2007, March 2nd, at Ijebo, the National Stadium, that was when I jumped eight meters. Since that's then, great. That's great. I've turned to be a coach and I've very been a successful coach. I've brought out a lot of athletes, jumping six meters. The last sports festival, my athletes won the National Sports Festival. Okay. Aaron Z. Benjamin. That's for Lagos State. Okay. He's also your athlete. So we'll come, we'll come, we'll, we'll, we'll come to that. Now, before, before, we come, before, before we come to uh, uh, Olalu, let's, let me, let, let's talk about your school. Uh, uh, your, your school got three gold medals and... I think that, 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 that should put you at the, the top of the yeah, charts. Yeah, we, we were the overall champion. The overall champion? Yeah, of the channels um, tra uh, track event. Okay. Uh, uh, in, 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 your, your school, like they, they encourage your uh, sport. Do you have, fac you have facilities? Yeah, we have, we have um, facilities to um, help the children um, improve on their activities. And um, also, we are, we are able to balance uh, the academics and at the same time, their, their sporting um, ability also. So we are, we are very good to go. Okay, because you have you have a star athlete. Okay, let's 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 come to Lalu. Uh, uh, athlet, athlet, athletics. A, a lot of people want to play in Nigeria. A lot of, we have a lot of football fans and whatever. Why did you choose athletics? Um, in school, I wanted to play football. too. I was one of those boys that always want to play football. Anytime they're playing football, you see me on the pitch. But then the sports coach there for athletics, coach endurance, and also the football coach, um, Mr. Moving One they came to an agreement to never allow me to play football and always pull me for athletics because okay. they saw that I was fast and I had the talent there. So I'll just say Temple School coaches just really helped me. They recognized my strength and they put me into, into the area that they know I'll be best at, which was athletics. And from there, I just kept on pushing. And from there, I was able to go from school to national competitions where Coach Yusuf Ali recognized me when he called me to the stadium one day through my mom to um, run the 100 meters to do a test run for the 100 meters for me and he said he really liked he really saw he saw talent in me and he took me under his wing to be one of his one of his um, athletes and i'm really grateful to him i'm really grateful to my mom and again i'm really grateful to temple school coaches for identifying the talents they saw in me and my mom every time she's always there she's always helping me what, what, what was she was she was she at the stadium during this last race the um, competition for almost all competitions in my life, she has always been there. She's very supportive. But this last one, she wasn't able to be there because she had a course going on outside the country. Okay, so she wasn't. She wasn't. She wasn't around. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, like, let's, just let's look at you know you uh, you you're very before. How did you before this coach spotted you, and then you said you know you were you were mixing up with guys playing football, yes. and then they now saw that a lot of, because I'm hearing a lot of these coaches. We don't we give them little credit. I I, I was I discussed with MMA, and then the same thing happened. Uh, um, 
I discussed with uh, Henry Amike. Henry Amike, the same thing happened. He said he was running faster than football and then drag. He said, come and try athletics. It's like they, they spot you guys and said, that is, so we, 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 let, us, let us be giving them that uh, uh, credit, credit that you, you, you don't know how it comes in, but you just see the person running. And then you say, wow. You remember uh, our first gold medalist herself, Choma Jonga. Mm -hmm. She was in the uh, football team, that, the first World Cup in 1991 in China. She represented Nigeria as... She represented Nigeria as a footballer, you understand, before you know, she now move straight into uh, uh, atle at at athletics. So what, where, you, you, where you look at yourself today among the juniors, I mean, um, do you want to be the best in the junior or you want to take, do you want to take this as a career or you want to go and do, uh, study, uh, uh, which, which course do you, that you, do you want to study when you leave school? Um, when I leave school, I want to study economics alongside international business. But mainly, I'll say my future aim, and I'll keep on saying this, no matter who I say to front, will be in front of, will be to be the fastest man in the world. That to is what I aim for. <laughs> okay, to be the fastest man in the world. That is him there on your screen. Uh, 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 you say, he said, I'm going to be the fastest. That is my ambition, to be the fastest man in the world. Right now, he's the fastest youth in the country. Uh, uh, he won 100 meters uh, uh, dash. He won the 200 meters. He won uh, the long jump. Uh, you, you jumped a... Uh, 6.49. 6, 6. 6. I, I remember that. It was 6.49. You jumped 6.49 because we're looking at we're monitoring those, uh, uh, those, those jumps. You know? So you, you, you see him there winning 100 meters and then also uh, I came in for the relay, 4 by one uh, uh, Then his, the support cast could only push him. To, or you, which or who takes who? Are you the one that took them or the, the one that took you to bronze? Those are the ones that took me to bronze. Because <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't run it alone. <laughs> they took you to Brown, so it's a support <laughs> team. So the team, the team, they are, 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 so you go there and then you took your school up there as the one school. We want to see if we can take, uh, you know, uh, uh, one or two calls for this boarding star and then uh, uh, the coaches and encouragement. Let us see because uh, uh, we want we, the last world championship. We know what happened to Nigeria. Uh, uh, we got that bronze, and it also came from the jumps from SA Brume, which was uh, uh, the, 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 bronze, the bronze that we got. So uh, I want, we're opening the lines now. We don't want to just talk about athletics. If you want to end that, let's see how uh, uh, Olalu is here. He is the champion. He is the best uh, uh, MVP of the just concluded channels on the 17 track and field championship for the secondary schools in Lagos. I tell you, we will soon, I know, I know, we'll be getting the calls, we'll soon be coming. The same thing Kids Cup started, it will still move to national, and then everybody can come in. But then Olalu will have left school. You still have one year to go in school. This, okay, no, you're this, is, my, this is my final year. This is your final year? Oh, yes. okay. So Olalu will have left school. And then, <laughs> even have, maybe somebody come from we're, we're, Rivers. We are grouping up more stars from Temple School. Yes. So watch out for more stars. The track program in Temple is very good. The, everybody there, I can say, is extremely fast. There are new people there. If I can mention some names. Go ahead, go ahead. If I can mention Adeni Liam Well, what class, is, what class is he? He's in, in SS2. Year 11. SS2. SS2. So that one will run next year? Yes. yes. What, what, what do you call his name? Adeni Ade Liam Omotobura. We also have Ade Nile. Ade Nile. Omotobura. Omotobura. Okay. okay. So watch out for, for the girls. Ben John. Ben John. For the girls, we have Nimi. Nimi, uh, I forgot her son name. But Oshu we have Sonya. Nimi Oshusonya. Thank you very much. Okay. Nimi Oshusonya, she's very fast. And I'm just saying, the and you talked about swimming too. All right, yes. okay, okay. Let, let's take let's take our first call. Let's go straight to Abuja. Hello, hello, David. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hello. Go. Hi. Hello. 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 Yes. Hello. How are you today? I'm fine. And how are you? Mm -hmm. Can you kill the volume? Kill the volume of your TV set. Can you just kill it? I should bring it down. Yes, bring it down. Kill it, and then you listen. Okay. We will we'll talk to you through your phone because it's echoing. Uh, I've done that. All right, okay. go on. <laughs> I'm here, Pastor Okwa, your um, caller, as usual. Okay. Just coming from church. I'm happy to be part of this, this afternoon. I congratulate all of you. Thank you. That's my first observation. You are not gender sensitive. You are not gender sensitive. That one. I, I, um, I, I okay, hold on. Let me, let me apologize. Uh, this show would have... No, no, I want to say this. I, I, I'm sorry, just hold on a second. This show, okay. uh, you would have, you would have uh, last week that we scheduled this show, we were, were to have a female as part of the cast, well, one, of the, one of the coaches, M.F. Edem. She was here, but we couldn't take, we couldn't, because of the election results, that was why she didn't come here. And she, today they're having a meet, that is why she's not here. So go ahead. Okay. Go ahead. Yes. <laughs> Apology accepted. <laughs> All right. My young man, I'm happy for you. Thank you, Ma. Thank you very much. And I'm happy for your mom as well. And coach, the Lord bless all of you. 
And you see what Channels is doing, Mr. Shonogo. Yes. Kudos. Blessings to um, John Momo. The Lord will continue to uplift him. Amen. If a single person is doing this, and the government is pumping money into our sports activities. Yeah. Sports, sports. Uh, okay, I don't know what to say. And one particular person is there. You, you understand? Yes. Honoring it. And see, that boy now, he's out, of, um, he's out on the street. His life is no more going to be the same. You understand? Yeah. And uh, a lot has been done in his life. But there are people on the top and the echelon of our... Uh, Sporting um, activities, the money that are being budgeted for this, they are, they are just taking it. They are, they, I know you are not on football today. See what is happening in NFS. See what they were doing the other day. Now, Mr. I think the, the, minister, the minister is on top of it now. Uh, the minister, the everybody's minister, buckling up. Yes. Number, you know why I'm saying this? Yes. I'm paying if you go home, go to the villages. People are on tramadol. They are on drugs. If, if they are, are engaged, if the youth are engaged, every day we talk about male child, like female child, the boys are, are wasting away. If they are engaged and they are busy as channels and some other churches are doing, the MFM, the, uh, the redeems and whatever are doing in a sporting activity. Yeah. We will not have all this uh, kidnapping and whatever. You understand? Yeah. Now, the government that, our own government that they say they are fighting corruption. They are aiding and abating corruption. <laughs> we know what is happening. All right, okay, America. let's, let's know. bring it, let's talk about, let's, uh, 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 I like, we love your contribution. Uh, uh, yes. we, we hope that we'll continue. And then we, if we call you, you're able to join us. Uh? Call you. Call I will. We will we'll call, call you. Thank you. Yeah, we'll call you. We'll get your number. We'll call you. Thank you very much. Thank you very, very much for your contribution. Uh, <laughs> I, 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 I love you. She, she calls him from Abuja, and then she hits the news. I think she's passionate about certain things. Exactly. And then uh, uh, just like what you guys are seeing here. All right. Uh, gentlemen, let's go on a short break. All right. You're welcome back. Uh, I still have them in the house. I still have the coach. I still have the, 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 the sports director of Temple School. I still have the superstar, Lolo, who is here. Uh, 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 what, do you have anything you want to say? Let us talk about your career, your vision, anything in your mind. Nigerians want to work. Now, they want to hear you now. I mean. First of all, I would just like to say a huge thank you. I will start by thanking the Lord for giving me this talent and for giving me, putting me in a situation where people are actually people actually care about what I have to offer and they want to um, improve me, they want to make me the best of, make me the best version of myself. I really want to thank the Lord. I also like to thank every single student at Temple School. I like to thank all of them for pushing me because that's the perfect environment to go if you want to succeed athletic sport, through sports or academics because Temple School is an all-round school for the best of the best. Uh, okay, go ahead. <laughs> you, you guys, you come and pay here. I mean, <laughs> they've discovered you. But so, but let, 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 go, go ahead. Let, let, let's see your view. Where do, where do you, as an individual, where do you want to get to? Where do you want that is the way? You say you want to be the best in the way. You want to yes. beat Usain Bolt's record? Yes, I do. Okay. And wh how many years do you think you can get that? Do you think you can do that in this environment? From the coaches you're having and from the, uh, 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 the uh, uh, facilities that we have? Do you think that can take you for you to run... Uh, uh, Ten point, you know, uh, nine point. I think the facilities are a major factor. All right, so let me just hold you there because we have uh, Patrick is on the line. Hello, Pat. Hello. 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 Go on. Hello, Ken. Yeah, yeah. go on. You are on. Okay, uh, I want to congratulate you for the conclusion of the channel's uh, athletics competition. Okay. And again, I wish to say, like the former uh, last caller said, you should try to be in that sense time. <laughs> but again, I, again, my main purpose of calling is that this young man should not be allowed to just waste since he's been discovered. Yeah. I wish the Athletic Federation will try and get in touch with the school and his coach yeah. so that uh, they... They, 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 they grew him for, to, to, to start on because he's, he's a Chinese star. And we should well, we we'll try and train him and prepare him to start on. So, because we have a lot of talent in Nigeria. The only problem we have is that most of our coaches, especially national coaches, are very lazy. They don't want to do any work. 
So I just want to congratulate the young man and the coaches who brought him up, and I wish him uh, best of luck. Thank you very is much. Is that is that part of our audio? Yes, part of our audio. I just got your voice now. All right. Thank you very much, Pat. Thank you. Thank Thanks. you very, very much. Thank you. Uh, uh, Pat Omorodio uh, is a senior writer with Vanguard and immediate uh, this uh, special assistant to the former minister of sports, senior special assistant. Uh, so at least we are honored to have you call into the show. Uh, okay. You said what milestone? You live in school now, you went to the university, you want to study business and uh, what do you say? Business or what? Economics and international business. Okay, e economics and international business. All right. And then you want to bet you also want to concentrate on you are an athlete. Uh, yes. You want to be the best version of yourself. Yes. So I, I have you seen maybe in the next five, ten years, how would I know, will you still be running? Do you say how will where would you think you can represent I win a gold medal for Nigeria? And which event do you think most likely are going to win? You are going to get the gold for us. Um, I have represented Nigeria already at the CAA um, under 18 under 20 championships in, okay. Af in, Af um, in Cote d'Ivoire. Okay. They represented Nigeria for the long jump because I didn't make it through the 100 or 200 okay. and I got a bronze medal. Wow. So I hope to see myself representing Nigeria in the senior category and hopefully this time winning the 100 meters. Okay, let's take this caller. Hello. Hello. Ken. Yes. Hello, Ken. Yeah, I'm here, I'm here. This is Harrison from Navy Town. Oh, Harrison, how are you? Hello? Go on, go on, go on, Harrison. Thank you, fine, yeah. thank you. Yeah. Ken? Yeah? In fact, uh, let me tell you, channels, maybe I'll come and walk there. <laughs> maybe I'll come and walk in channels, so... <laughs> yeah? Channels gave Navy Town Academy 2016 when we watch our final. You remember Ronaldinho? Yes, yes. The cookie boy, Ronaldinho. Yeah. Yes. Good. The boys that I took to the stadium, they said we must establish an academy in Navy Town. Now, since then, these kids were bringing them up. Now you have all athletics again, clapping for channels. When all they will come and visit more and all of you. Thank you. Thank the you, Almighty Harrison. God will reward you. The Almighty God will reward you. Our prayers will not just go like that. Thank we are you. happy with what channels is doing. We will continue to be happy with what you are doing. But one day, you just allow us to come and visit and thank you and see all, and all of you. You people are doing a wonderful job. We will bring you on air. Security. Yeah. And frankly. Thank you very much, Harrison. Thank you very much. We appreciate it. Thank you very much. Uh, so, uh, Aris and Colin, uh, of course, they were part of our Kids' Cup. And then, right. you know, uh, uh, they joined in, they bring in kids. Their school's coming to participate. And now we are into athletics for the sake. We've done 11 years of, of football, football. And we are two wow. years now of athletics. athletics. So, we know before we get to 11 years of athletics, I mean, the, the nation will be on fire. Exactly. Uh, burning, burning, burning the tracks with their exactly. spikes. Definitely. Okay. Exactly. So, you, you said, you, I, I, you, you, you've not closed your eyes and tell me if this, of course, you've got, you've got the, the, the first bronze for us. Is it, you, are you seeing yourself winning us another gold, our first gold medal in you know, jumps from uh, uh, the male? Because we already have one in 1996. We're not born then. So, <laughs> so, so we're we are waiting. So, I, I mean, I, I would say the waiting is almost over now. I would like to believe so because I personally want to aim for that, to get gold in. I, I personally want to get gold in 100, 200 and long jump if it's possible. If it's, okay. Uh, Usain Bolt has 100, uh, 100 200, 200 and 4 by 4 by 1. Jesse Owens had 100, 200, long jump and, and 4 I don't know why Usain Bolt left the jump, but if, yeah. which, is, which is long, which is long stride. Well, he has never done long jump. If he has done, I think probably he would have gotten that. But he has never. Is the that the thing that? he has been doing that. Yeah. He, he tried 400 at the beginning yes. of the season. Yes. And he has 45. 45.4. 45 for in, four, in, 400. in 400. as his personal best in okay. 400. So that, that, that now gives him a very good strength for him to run the 100 and 200. And 200. Yeah. Because you can run that one fast. Exactly. It means you can run this one faster exactly. and you're not, you, you not tired. Exactly. It's like you want to play 90 minutes of football, you train for three hours. Because exactly. I mean, that <laughs> is just it. How many hours do you train in a day? Um, in a day, I would say two hours in a day. You, you train every day? I train, um, during the holidays, I train every day, but when I'm in school, I train four times a week. You train four times a week. Yes. Uh, I, it, it, the, the train hours are not clash with your studies? No, Temple School has a way of balancing everything else for me. Are you okay? Keep on, keep on telling me what they have balanced for you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, gentlemen, yeah. I'm, 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 I'm so happy having you guys around. Uh, I think it's a pleasure. I mean, <laughs> okay, we have a call on the line. Hello, Abubakar. Hello. 
Yeah, um, good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. Yeah, I'm. Yeah, I'm watching your program. And I'm very, very happy watching it. Thank you. Ah, Channel, you are really doing a good job. We thank you. I really God. admire you guys, especially the um, sports section. We thank God. Please, I want you to hold on to this guy. Please take him to this to the highest level. Don't okay. allow him to roast. I just watched his. Uh, you just watch his face. I'm so happy. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Please don't allow him to roast. Don't allow him to roast, please. All right. We won't. We won't. Congra congratulations. And may okay. God uplift Channel Television. May Amen. God of God uplift Nigeria. Amen. Thank you, Amen. my dear. Thank you. Yeah. All right, Coach. Uh, let's, let's have your last, your, your last word. Uh, thank you very much. From the caller from Abuja, yeah. the woman that, uh, that talked, yes. last question. Though she's very right. All, all what you just need to do is that to encourage all these corporate bodies okay. to, to come to our aid by organizing competition like what channels have just done. Okay. I think if we have all this kind of a competition, we'll be able to get all this, uh, the, the, the hooligans. We'll be able to bring them out, out, out from, their, from their activities. Okay. So engage them in sport. Uh, it's, not, it's not really to be in athletics alone. They can be in football, they can be in basketball, they can be in swimming. We have a lot of talent in this country. And like the last caller called Mr. Patrick, saying coaches are lazy. Excuse me, please take it back. Coaches are really working hard. We have a lot of bunches of athletes, I mean coaches outside there, that they are not paid by anybody. And I, I think I discovered that. You, you guys have an association. They are, they no, have we have an association. association. Exactly. We, yes. Uh, it's we association that we are helping ourselves, contribute to ourselves, Annual deals, with that annual deals, we use it to organize a competition within ourselves. We need corporate bodies. Come to Unilag over there. That's where I, myself, and Chief Antonio Sheku okay. are bringing up athletes. If you come over there, you will see we have over 30 athletes that we are training. Nobody is paying us a dime. Okay. And they are there. And upon it, despite that, we still try to give them scholarship to America. They are there. You can, you can come there one day. Hugs the student, they made the athlete there. We'll, we'll, we'll come and cover, we'll come and cover those grassroots, you know, activities that are going on, yeah. so that these Nigerians can, you know, uh, can know exactly where the next uh, uh, models are coming, and also the challenges that you guys are facing. Thank you. Uh -huh. very Thank you very much. Thank you, Otto. Uh, uh, well, can I say something? Oh, yes, say something. Yeah, but I don't yeah. talk about your school. <laughs> no, 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 <laughs> All right, let's hear you. Yeah, I just want to thank uh, channels for the platform uh, they've given um, uh, schools. Um, to showcase what they have. Yeah. And I, I want to say, if we want to really curb um, age shit in sport in okay. Nigeria, yeah. this is where we need to start from. Okay. I advise the sport ministry to um, get engaged with these um, competitions to pick out sport out talent for Nigerians. Because most developed countries now, they go to schools to it pick up athletes. That is where, that is where exactly. it happens. Yeah. Exactly. All right. Exactly. Okay, yeah, you must say something before we leave. Oh, yeah. Just a vote of thanks to everybody. Thank you, Coach. Yeah, yeah, welcome, Coach. Thank you, Mr. Thank you very much to everybody that helped me. And uh, thank you, Mommy. Thank, yeah, thank you, you, Mommy. All right. I want to see you All right. Thank you very much, guys. <laughs> okay, we, are, we want to go on a very short break. And when we, do, when we come back, Channel Sport on Sunday continues. Yes, this.